Hello, welcome to the YouTube channel Effectual Learning. Today, we take an in-depth look into the interactive 3D simulation of projectile motion at effectual.github.io. You can find this page under the topics mechanics. Here, you can use the user interface tools to visualize and understand the projectile motion of the object for different launch velocity, launch height and launch angle. The 3D interactive simulation allows you to vary these parameters and to study the path of motion, thus giving an in-depth understanding of the projectile equations. The equations used for the visualization here ignores air resistance and the shape of the object. The link for the web page is given in the description for this YouTube video. In projectile motion, the equation of motion for horizontal and the vertical displacement of the object are independent of each other, that is, neither motion affects the other. At any time t, projectile is under the influence of gravitation and only the vertical displacement is affected by the acceleration due to gravity. The horizontal displacement x is the product of the velocity component along x-axis and time t. Vertical displacement incorporates the launch height, vertical velocity component and the acceleration due to gravity acting downward. Click here for detailed projectile equations. The path of motion for the projectile is obtained by replacing time t in the vertical displacement equation. The solution to the equation allows us to determine the maximum height and the maximum range a projectile can attain. For a projectile launched from ground, the maximum range is obtained for a launch angle of 45 degree. Maximum height is attained when the projectile is shot vertically or for a launch angle of 90. In this special case, when the object is thrown directly upwards, the path of motion is a straight line. The only force of mathematical significance that is actively exerted on the object is gravity, which acts downward, thus imparting a downward acceleration to the object towards the earth. During the upward movement of the object, the acceleration due to gravity directed downwards decreases the speed of the object. At the max height, its speed is zero, allowing us to determine the time taken for the upward displacement and in turn allows us to determine the time for the flight and to calculate the maximum height of displacement. Another special case is when the object is launched when only with only horizontal velocity component or is dropped from a height, initial velocity being zero. The velocity along the vertical direction increases as the object moves towards Earth horizontal component remains constant. Visit the website effectual.github.io for physics 3D interactive simulations and see the effect of visual learning the effectual way. 